Okay guys, I'm going fishing. Today's plan is to find some actually open water, if I'll be able to find some open water because it's been very, very cold. Everything is more or less frozen. So if I'll be able to find some open water, I will be able to catch some fish, I'm sure of it. But yeah, the plan is to visit small river and then maybe, you know, uh, visit a little bit like more structured area around the around the locks but let's see how the day will pan out more or less see you by the river Rucksack, fully loaded, net and my rod with the drop shot rig. Let's undo the socks. That's it, let's go guys. As you can see guys, the night was pretty cold. So I'm walking through the grass and it's like it's properly frozen. I hope I will be able to find some, you know, open water with no ice on top of it. Yeah, the water is not frozen. Actually, it's moving, that's why. The clarity actually is pretty good of the water. Little indications there. No, nothing more. Probably will have to go to any other location, I guess. Let's check under the bush here. Okay, one last cast if nothing then i will have to move obviously the fish most likely are somewhere else not here yeah let's go the spec looks like i don't know kind i can see i don't know how well you can see on the camera but i can see that the flow is like hitting and it's more or less lag here kind of high hopes in here if i can get my rig in position i will check probably i'll spend five minutes in the spec just to see if 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 the fish will be here or not nothing yet Yeah, I got a bite. Hmm. That was a bite 100% like a little pull. So I just might go, you know, I might need to go for on, on a, and, you know, put a smaller lure on. Even though it's pretty small what they have on the end. It's freezing. The fish obviously will be, you know, very, very difficult to catch, very passive. Okay. 
yeah probably one more little check and then i will have to swap the lure Also, I will have to put my gloves on, it's freezing. Right, as you can see, I have found a nice little bench to use as a worktop to change my lure. So basically, I'm going from a crayfish, which is, I hope you can see it, which is not big at all, but still I'm changing to even smaller worm. I mean, the length is similar, just the volume of the lure mostly, it's much, much smaller. So yeah, let's change it. The rig is ready to go very small worm let's clean everything up gloss of course hopefully i'll be able to you know to catch a few now on a very very small tiny little lure let's go new rig same area or new lure should i say the lure uh, the rig is actually exactly the same i will show you a little bit later wow that water must be so cold Wow, I was kind of expecting that I will get a bite and more aggressive one instantly, but no. Yeah. <laughs> That was quite quite aggressive, the most aggressive bite, well, of all three I had this morning so far. So, let's see if we can catch that little bandit. Just take it, he's taking, yes, finally got him. Yay! Beautiful first fish of a day. Quite fat actually, not like not a wasp for sure. Quite quite pale in color as well. Wow. Beautiful little fish. Very very beautiful little fish. Awesome. Right you beauty, you can go back, thank you. So the change of the lure to a smaller one worked quite quickly actually three chucks and i had a couple indications and i caught a fish so i was right about the fish being very very you know passive and wanting very small small lures and also i was right about the area because i can see the slag here and i won't be surprised if i will catch a couple more fish from here Maybe not, I don't know. We'll give a couple more chucks, you know, just to see. A little bit further away, maybe some bigger one will be sitting in the middle, I don't know. As you can see the presentation guys is pretty simple i'm kind of introducing very very tiny like i don't know how well you can see but like tiny little wobbles on the tip making sure that my lead is on the bottom you know it's very very simple way of fishing drop shot is very effective still
you know what, I will have to move, I guess, because I had kind of couple indications before I caught that fish, and once I caught it, nothing else is happening pretty much, so most likely I caught that one active fish, which, which was, you know, in this area, so it makes sense to go elsewhere. Yeah, let's do that. This area looks actually pretty slack. It's quite shallow. Close in, let's try a little bit further. Yeah, little indication, got him. As you can see guys, all you need to do is just to find active fish and they will nail the lure instantly. Give it back! Does not want to give back the lure. Ah, look, he's so aggressive, just look at that. <laughs> he's not, he's not giving the lure at all, finally. Little devil. Right, I don't want to be fishing here, definitely just look in the water. Lots and lots of branches, no. I will, I will move away from here. That looks interesting area. Very, very interesting, just not very deep. Cast it a little bit out. Kind of feeling that I will have to go to. <laughs> Mm, that's a nice actually fish. Oh, it came off. It was a nice fish, probably close to a pound. And the kind of it, my my line went slack. I was kind of talking, talking. I was saying that I will have to you know go and look for a slacker places. And uh, yeah, I noticed that my line went slack. How unfortunate that I lost that one. It was a nice fish, definitely unexpected, you know, for such a cold morning. Wow, that looks awesome. I'm pretty sure there will be some perch in here. Totally slack water. And some structure, a tree in the water. Can't believe nothing yet. Hmm, very strange. Maybe some pike is sitting here or what, I don't know. Oh, that looks quite nice in between the trees. Such a good area, but no fish. I'll try to lower my rig just here. If I can. Yep. Oh. Nice perch. Nice, very nice perch, the biggest of the day so far. Very difficult day.
almost yep thank you Mwah. let's see maybe it's there are more you know you will never know yep so, and and similar size as well so i found a little shoal of them actually a little bit bigger just look at them colors guys wow those small river perch they are so beautiful just look at that wow awesome super healthy fish guys super healthy fish and nailed that small lure as well just hooked nicely small hook wow another quick snap beautiful fish just look at that guys okay beauty time to go back for you hooks out wow just super healthy fish guys just look wow thank you very much See, can I catch one more from this area? So difficult even to get my rig in. As you can see, I have to lower my rig just here. It's proper jungle fishing. I won't be surprised if I will get another one just here. Seems they like here. Maybe not. Of course, if I, I should maybe kept those perch in the in the net, you know, for a while just to make sure that I will catch more but in any case it's a difficult day you know happy to catch a few not going for the gold as they say <laughs> that was aggressive take oh that's even bigger I will have to net this one Ooh, he's going can I net him yes got him nice hi That's definitely is the biggest of the day as you can see guys you need only a tiny lure to catch a decent fish how about that he had some like damage from something some time ago he's aggressive beast but as i said guys tiny small lure and decent perch what's that a pound i would say a pound fish awesome we'll take a quick snap before letting him go Hiya, oh, yeah. you all right? Do you want to pet the fish? Do you want to touch the fish? You want? You'll have to come closer. Come closer. I'm holding it. Yeah, he is. Okay, you beauty, time to go back for you. Thank you. Oh, that looks quite nice actually, guys. Looks very, very nice. Some like big, you know, big structure, big, big concentration of, you know, branches and stuff. Let's go closer. Mm, 
little indication. Got him even those small fish, but happy to catch him for sure. Yep, thank you. There are more. Yeah, indication, and I got another one. As you can see, guys, it's just about finding the fish. Proper jungle fishing. Yeah, indication. Just take it. No. But I think I will catch that fish. It looked like he might, you know, go for it. It was somewhere here. I will drop into that fish's mouth. And... Yep, and I got him. Ha ha ha! Little angry devil. Thank you. Oh man, it's cold. I can't believe I was so lucky that I grabbed those, you know, gloves and I uh, and I was able to put them on, you know, and I wasn't, you know, wasn't feeling that my fingers are about to fall off. So yeah, change of location. I'm going from that little jungle area to the area around the locks. Maybe I'll be able to catch some perch there. I won't spend more time really, or like hours and hours there. I'll spend probably an hour at most and uh, we'll see what I can catch unless I will find that area you know by the locks frozen because the water will be still there but we'll see once we get there right guys as you can see change of location I went away from the from the jungle I was fishing at and went at, you know just to check if if the slack area around the marina is like you know free of ice so and it is lucky for me let's see if we can catch some perch here i mean i'm sure i will catch some but just the question is how many and how big little indication i think or my little snag might be as well no that's almost certain if that's that was a fish yeah nice little beauty thank you let me quickly talk about the tackle i'm using basically that's my usual like drop shotting setup that's a queen super light rod casting rating from 0 0.6 to 10 grams reel is diver Fuego LT 2000 then on the reel I have fine Japanese braid PE 0 0.2 and on the end of that braid I have fluorocarbon 0 0.15 about 50-60 centimeters and the rig itself as you can see I have a small worm which has been most successful today so far and uh, the distance between the lure and the weight is about 10 centimeters and the weight or on the weight I have like a small sleeve just to make sure I won't snag as many you know obstacles and uh, the rig is like improved drop shot rig where the hook and the lure can freely move so yeah let's see if we can catch more fish on it finally hooked it How aggressive is that guys? Little bulldog. Yeah, little indication. Come on, just take it. I got a take and then I got into the snag. Probably that will bit for me today. If I will break this one off, I will have to go home. That's it guys. So to wrap it up, what I spent probably two good hours of fishing. Uh, it wasn't easy. But still, it goes to show that, you know, once you find the fish, if your rig will be, you know, small and, you know, good for these conditions, you will catch it definitely. You just need to find the fish. I hope you learned something during this video. 
and thanks for watching and see you in the next one.